welcome students let us see a very interesting and important question from the topic time and work this question has been asked in staff selection commission examination in 2004 question is a and b can complete a work in 15 days and 10 days respectively it means a completes the work in 15 days and b completes the work in 10 days they started doing the work together but after 2 days b had to leave and a alone completed the remaining work in how much time whole work was completed question is not difficult we can do it very easily so let us see the solution here uh in solution of every question generally i use to write the uh, statements of the solution clearly uh, so that you could understand it properly otherwise in competitive examinations you know there is no need to write the statements simply just you write the figure and calculate and can be solved within a minute okay but here we are trying to elaborate the solution that's why i am writing all the statements also so a and b can complete a work in 15 days and 10 days so a completes the work in 15 days therefore is one day work is how much reciprocal of this much 1 by 15 also similarly we can write b completes the work in 10 days therefore b is one day work is reciprocal of this much so 1 by 10 and they have started to work together so therefore when both of them are working together that's why we are calculating a plus b is one day work how much we will add these two figures here so this is 1 by 15 plus 1 by 10 let us simplify it lcm will be how much 30 2 plus 3 5 by 30 so this is 1 by 6 so this is the amount of work being done when both a and b is are working together and they have worked for how long two days therefore a plus b is two days work why two days they have worked continuously together for two days okay so two days work is equal to two times of 1 by 6 this is equal to 1 by 3 and remaining work has been completed by a only a continued uh, doing the job okay he has not not left it so remaining job is how much 1 minus 1 by 3 therefore remaining work that a has to complete now is 1 minus 1 by 3 this is equal to 2 by and we are having is one day work 1 by 15 and remaining work is 2 by 3 so easily we can calculate how much time will be required by a in completing this work okay so here we can write also 1 by 50 part of work 1 by 50 15 work is done by a in how many days one day so we can calculate in two many three two by three uh two by three work is left so how much time will be required by unitary method you can do it easily so therefore one work is done in fact this much is already given here so no need to write this line so let us remove it let us remove it this is not required to write this line 
because this is given already in the question that a can complete the work complete work in 15 days so one work complete one means one complete work is done by a in 15 days this is given in question given in question therefore this remaining part of the job therefore 1 by 3 work is done by a in how many days 15 into 1 by 3 uh sorry this is 2 by 3 not this 2 by 3 work is left so 2 by 3 work is done by a in 15 into 2 by 3 days and this is equal to this will be cancel out this is equal to 10 days 10 days is required for completing the remaining work but a and b together have already done for 2 days so answer will be 10 plus 2 because they have already completed 2 days then b left the job and after leaving uh, uh, b a takes 10 days so number of days required in completing the job is this 10 days plus previous 2 days so, so therefore total time required for completing the work is equal to 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 days so this is the answer 12 days okay very interesting very simple so students remain in touch with these videos we have already discussed so many important questions in uh, previous videos and still we have to discuss some more important questions so remain in touch with these videos and hope you might have subscribed my channel if not do it immediately and share these videos with your friends also so that they could also get benefit of it and if you have any doubt any problem any confusion or even you want to give any suggestion for your better understanding please write in the comment box i will definitely reply it okay and uh, if you are understanding these videos enjoying learning mathematics you are liking it then your likes are most welcome thank you very much wish you all the best